Hey everybody, Iceman50 here. Um, so uh, my wife asked me to uh, make her a little uh, jewelry uh, setup, little stands. Um, she kind of showed me some stuff on uh, Amazon and uh, I thought we could make it. Um, let me see if I can turn this around on you guys here. All right, so what we've, what we've done here is, uh, let me uh, see if I can zoom you in. Um, so we're gonna create these wooden blocks and it's got a hole in it uh, over, over here. So, and it's got a chamfer. So you can see here, it's got a chamfer around it. Uh, I know the white balance isn't great. And then it just has these little brass rods, right? So we just take some, uh, I got some 3 16 brass rod uh, and uh, we'll put a we'll put a slight radius on it here, like an eighth inch radius. I'll just clamp it to like a something small, and uh, we'll we'll bend it around it. We'll vice grip it or something, and we'll make a we'll make the radius here. Um, and then um, so all we got to do is insert that into the hole, and that's it. So uh, this this is my first time using Fusion 360. Um, it's uh, I've used AutoCAD, Autodesk Inventor. Uh, my main thing is SketchUp. Um, the learning curve around this is, <laughs> is a little steep, but not too bad. So, um, I mean, I'm definitely uh, nowhere even near a novice level, but I was able to figure out how to, you know, make these pipes and to the lengths that I wanted and this. So we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, I'm gonna print screen here. Um, uh, Cause I know I can go into drawings or whatever, but I, I, this is just actually faster. So on my keyboard, it's function, print screen. And then um, let me set you down here. Then we'll hit control and we'll get ourselves a nice little window here. Okay. And then we're just gonna say print. And we're gonna go over here. Internal error occurred, great. Okay, fit picture. Okay, like something like this, plain paper, full page photo, close enough, let's say print. Okay, uh, printer offline. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Hang on guys, perfect. All right, everybody. So apparently my, my, uh, my printer shuts off. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. So now if we can, uh, let's try this again. Control, print screen, come on. Oh, function, print screen, control, and then that'll give me a, like that, and then we're gonna say print, and we're gonna say good enough, and we're gonna say print, and this time, it should go to the printer, I'm hoping. Well, anyways, <laughs> we'll bring you back when I got the, the drawings and we're going to, we got, uh, we're waiting on the brass rod and the, uh, and I got some wood. I actually have some, uh, some mahogany. It's the same mahogany that I made uh, Trevor's pedal board out of. So we're just going to take uh, these pieces of wood and measure them up, slice them up, drill a hole, and then we'll get uh, my router out. I got a plunge router, a nice Bosch plunge router. And then, you know, once we cut these to size, we'll chamfer the edges around. And then uh, we'll bend up the brass rod and we'll uh, we'll stain all this. Then we'll put it all together. And yeah, I think we'll probably make a whole bunch of them, four or five, six of them. I don't know. We got a whole bunch here. And I figure uh, the pieces are only going to be about, you know, this big a piece or whatever. So, all right, guys, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when we're getting ready to hack all this stuff up and... Uh, We'll go outside. It's nice and toasty outside. It's at least 80 degrees now. So, uh, spring is gone. We had our five springs here in Chicago and now it's uh, full on summer heat. So probably by next week, it'll be a hundred degrees. So, all right. And I, if you can't tell, I was joking. It's probably will be a hundred here in a month, <laughs> but right now it's in the eighties. So, all right, we'll be right back. Hey everybody, Iceman50 here. Uh, so, uh, we're going to take a trip over to the, uh, Amazon locker and, uh, go grab, uh, the brass rod and my router bits. Uh, and we're about to go here and, uh, it's funny if you watch later on, uh, 
right when I'm on my way back home, we'll, we'll show it here in a second, right when I'm on my way back home, uh, some guy with a little fart can on his car or something, he, yeah, I don't know what he thought, he was going, <laughs> he was trying to go real fast, but uh, it was actually pretty kind of hilarious, and uh, I guessed that he was pulling into the apartment complex here, and uh, he was, <laughs> so, uh, okay, hang on a second. All right, so we're pulling in here to the uh, gas station, which is the locker here, you can see in front of me. We'll jump out and uh, grab the packages. Yes, and I'm wearing pajama pants, so <laughs> it's late. Uh, so we got our two boxes, and uh, we're gonna get out of here. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get going here, and uh, head back to the house. Uh, this is where I, uh, <laughs> this is where I run into Mr. Fartcan. Uh, you guys will probably be amused. You should, uh, maybe I'll, uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, here he is. Dude, she sounded pretty good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh man, everybody gotta love these spark pipes, right? <laughs> wow, that's, that's not even a stop! Yeah, that was another thing. This guy didn't even like wow. stop anywhere. I give you three guesses if this guy's going to my apartment building. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, uh, listening to yourself guess. talk. Oh man. Here we go. Yeah, here's like another no stop. Oh my god, you want to play? <laughs> you just hear this stupid car. Oh my god. Alright guys, well, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get to the real stuff here in a couple seconds. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. So we're uh, outside now. We've got uh, our little uh, stand here. My little uh, sawhorse. And uh, first what we're going to do is we're going to trim up the um, edge of the board because it's not square. You can see that it's, <laughs> it's way off. So this is the wood that I used when we built the uh, pedal board. All right. So take this and then uh, get our pencil. And we'll get close here so we're not... Uh, we'll give ourselves a little bit of room. That. Okay. Hopefully, I can uh, <laughs> not make a mess. So we want to put it on here, and then we want to put it right in the middle. And now we got a nice straight cut. So uh, now what we'll do is we'll look at our drawing that we made here. And one way is three and one way is three and a half. And I can tell you that this way is already three and a half. So we're gonna measure off three inches here. Right, get it up at the top. We're gonna mark here. That's a little windy. I'm gonna mark here. Okay. All right, everybody. So I got our first first block. We're gonna just keep doing this till we make, I don't know, I'll make like six of them. So, we do this.
All right, everybody. We got our six blocks, all right? So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, start measuring um, for the hole. And I have a, some calipers here. And I decided that uh, I'm going to put the hole a half inch from one side. So, got our trusty analog uh, calipers here. We'll go out to uh, 500. Right there. And, alright. Then we're just going to take this and we're just going to kind of It's really hard to see. Maybe the best thing to do is just. Uh, yeah, we can do this instead. It'd be right here. Okay. And then we want to measure uh, an inch and a half. Oh, I hate this. Being left-handed stinks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, we were pretty close. So, right there. And we'll do this for the next bunch of them. All right. All right, so I got them all marked. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the, uh, we're gonna look at the brass rod, right? Should be 180, uh, 187. Says 180, 189. All right, so we're gonna look at our drill bits. And we're gonna look for um, not that. We're gonna look at so three sixteenths, right? And dang, we're at two o two o something. Well, that's gonna be kind of sloppy. So let's measure the uh, the next size down. Oh, this is 184, so this is going to be the better one. We can we can uh, just uh, open it up a little bit with this one. Uh, I just don't want to go too oversized, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, see? And it'll just sit like sit like that and then it'll come up and bend and that's that's it. So let me uh let me drill the rest of these and then we'll uh we'll figure out what we're gonna do about bending the brass rod. Alright guys, I'll be right back. We don't wanna get too crazy. On here but we've definitely got some cleanup work to do um, I think what we'll do is uh, I'll come back we'll get some sandpaper and uh, we'll we'll clean this up a little bit maybe a file just to knock down the edges so that I got something smooth to go on with the uh, with the router all right guys we'll be right back so I'm gonna send me here 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 yep right. all the way around All right, everybody, we're, uh, we'll sand all these blocks and then uh, we'll be back. The next operation I think is gonna be uh, 
setting up the uh, router with the uh, the bit that I got, and uh, we'll chamfer the edges. I'll uh, I'll show you how to do that um, using a, a quarter chamfer uh, bit. The set I got is a quarter half, three eighths, three eighths half, and five eighths or something like that. So, all right, we'll uh, we'll be back. We got the uh, blocks all cleaned up. And the next thing to do is to look at the, uh, the router here. I haven't used this in a long time. I got this back in the 90s, probably mid 90s. It's a plunge router. It's nice. So you, there's a flat on there. And then uh, we're gonna get in here with a wrench. Hopefully it's not completely screwed. Ah, oh, it's fine. I'm gonna have to clean this off at some point. We'll take this apart and, uh, whew. All right. So we're gonna put in our chamfering bit. Okay, right here. Remember, you gotta put the lock on and just push it in there some. Tighten it up and we yeah, just don't forget to keep holding on to the lever. I know new routers may be different, but uh, that's how this one works. Okay, all right. And now, to show you guys how this works, we'll let, uh, we'll let Trevor try it too. <laughs> An idea of how this works. First, I'll show you how it works then. So, okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna, there's a lever here. We wanna plunge it down, I think until it's, I'm trying to remember if it's in its flat, when it's flush. Let's see here. Because that's nothing. I feel like. I guess it's a slight chamfer. Alright. And then you just squeeze in the trigger here. You start it, you go in, and then you follow around the bearing down here. Oh, don't ever put your finger on the trigger while you're down here. Uh, the bearing will ride across this edge. Right. Alright. So we're just. gonna do is we're gonna just try the, the super glue method we're just gonna put a little bit of super glue on here we can always sand off the super glue right and then we're gonna set that down on there yeah if you didn't know you can use super glue on wood <laughs> I wouldn't use it for anything structural but uh, I think people, people people use it for uh, wood metal all sorts of stuff yeah i don't know if i got enough hmm Let's see what we can do here Let's try this too. If I keep the flat side.
Oh, I like this Jeezy song, everybody. <laughs> Well, that looks like that'll work, right? Sorry, now it's probably all, uh... all right. So, uh, sand this, try not to touch the uh, buddy. beer time. Oh, look, there's the wife. DPN, <laughs> disorderly product news. Love that guy, representing Chicago. Right. Oh, hell no. Oh yeah, everybody, I got one of these Zap It. <laughs> it looks like a tennis racket. Uh, we have a wasp problem here outside. E oh yeah, they were out a while ago, but yeah, we, we fried a couple yesterday. Anyway, so this is a bug zapper. So you see, it's, uh, so you push the button, and you whack, 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 whack. <laughs> and it uh, it barbecues them right up. It's a must have for the uh, for the balcony, the porch, your front, you know, porch, back porch. Yeah, you guys should get one. I think these were like 15 bucks on Amazon. I should get one. Uh, then you don't ever have to be afraid of those stupid wasps again. I, and I really don't like wasps. So you gotta get yourself one of these. Keep it within arm's reach. All right, so we glued it down uh, here usually like yeah see this is the problem with cord with corded tools everybody <laughs> you gotta yeah make sure it's level there you go mm -hmm. start it up before you plunge it in you know and then and then keep going I, I mean it may have already it's good enough it's fine. Like I said, this, you know. Oh, man. Super glue. See, I told you, everybody. I can super glue. It's good. It works on wood pretty good. Maybe too good. Oh, am I distressing it? I am. <laughs> nice. All right. So we're going <laughs> to. Maybe I put a little too much glue on this one, everybody. All right. We'll be right back. Oh, wow. Yeah, I said, man, what the hell is this? Gorilla Glue Super Glue? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that was, uh, I guess that was a little too much Super Glue. All right, well, we'll, uh, it doesn't really matter. That's the bottom side. We'll, uh, we'll figure out what we need to do. Either a little less, I think a little less Super Glue might, might be better. All right. Hello, quick. Hello, quick. Yeah, and we'll, yeah, exactly. We don't want to let it sit too long and get it done and then pull it off of there. What we could do is just cut off this here. Off here and just make what we can with that piece. I mean, I know it's the bottom, but it's going to be all... I, I think it's fine. Again, sure. yeah, your, your mother said that she uh, <laughs> she wanted it. She wanted rustic. Rustic. So, well, so that's perfect. It's uh, We're so going to call that... Know. We vintageized it. Uh, no. Uh, we, uh, we made it vintage. We chewed it up. We distressed it. That's the oh, word. I said it. Distressed. We distressed it. So, uh, right. yeah. It, that, that's some custom faded. <laughs> right? Like Bernie Mac, custom faded. That paint's that's custom. It's custom faded. Maybe, um. Just like little dots in the corners. Yep. That's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hey, you gotta make mistakes before you can, uh, you know, so you can figure out what you're doing here. Okay. All right, let's do it now. That's good. Yep. Do it to it, big homie.
forgot the name. Just figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> the whole damn planet wants a piece of me. <laughs> Pull the sparks in. <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. That's how we want it. Just like that. Like a smooth, like a baby's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. So now we're just gonna kind of fix these up a little bit, so we can get the brass rod to fit in here. We'll come from the front, from the back. We only have to take off like three, four, five thousands. Yeah, see that? See? You see that it's totally flat now. See, that's how it'll sit. So we're pretty much done with these. They all fit. I decided to uh, write on these and memorialize them forever <laughs> with our, uh, our uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, initials. Initials. <laughs> and the date. So... Now we're gonna, um, now we're going to, uh, he's gonna take and stain the, uh, the pieces. That's good. I had an idea. My, uh, my wife has these earring cards and she has her, uh, her logo on here. You see, it says snowing stars and it says snowingstars.com. It's a rubber stamp. So she stamps them on her, uh, earring cards, right? And makes them custom her own. I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we just kind of, you know, stuck this, on, oops, stuck this on here and um, see what it looked like. Um, we got black. I just think it would be kind of cool. Plus, you know, everyone would know it was yours. It'd be, it's good branding and pictures, right? So let's, uh, let's try this. We'll set this, get this all inked up and then if it's like these, which way is it? It's like this, right? So we kind of want it. Like, here. We'll just do it this way. It doesn't. Yeah, do it like right here. Ah, oh, dude, that looks cool. This actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, but you can barely see it. That's okay. But it'd be cool in pictures. It's a little branding, right? You know, but it's just, it's yours. I mean, I made it just a little extra something. First idea. And put some Sharpie marker on there. I think it's, you know, like dike them. And uh, get right up here. Wow! <laughs> okay, well, it, it broke. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. One thing I heard is to uh, to heat it up. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, and then we can uh, then we can bend it. So I think what we're gonna do here is we'll uh, go get my torch. It's under the sink. My pleasure. My pleasure. Mate. <laughs> okay, so how are we going to do this? So, uh, yeah, we, uh, here's what I got. I got a uh, tubing bender at Menards, of course, it's good, 13 bucks. And then I bought some uh, map gas, wherever that went, oh, over there. So I bought, and then so we heated up, we heated up this rod. I, I put it in here, I heated up the area that I want. I had him, I had Trevor heat up the area, and then I quickly put the, the tubing bender on here and uh, bent it over. It's not perfect, but you know, I mean, I really need like, I actually need it, you know, uh, an actual bender for this stuff maybe or whatever. I mean, this is gonna work. So what we're gonna do is 
Uh, I already, uh, I already cleared it with the old lady. She likes the, uh, the height of this one short. So we'll go over here and we will come up here. And I said I would, you know, basically come to the top of the chamfer right here. So we're just gonna mark it off. Okay. Pretty good. So we're just gonna try to, oops, dress up the uh, edge here. Just come on with my little file. All right, so we have to decide. We'll let the uh, let the old lady decide which way she wants it here. I think this is the. I think this is how it's supposed to be. All right, let's uh, let's see what she thinks. So she said that. So this one measures out at you know close to like an inch and three quarters. Uh, she measured one small pair of earrings. That was good. So we're gonna make two like this. Then we're gonna make two where it comes up to two and three quarters. And then we're gonna make two that comes up to three and three quarters. That way, you know, we got a couple of different heights here. So so this one went way better. Um, it actually bent really nice. You can see. Uh, it gave me a decent uh, radius so uh, what we'll do here is we're gonna make two of them the same see I yeah look you can see the difference in the bends you see how this one's more tight and this one it gets because it was must have been slipping and then just bent whereas this one actually held on that's it's the tricky part of all of this <laughs> Not too bad. Alright everybody, so uh, we got five of the six done. Um, I ran out of brass rod. The one that we had one that bent to... Uh, we had one that I bent in half and then it and then it snapped halfway through the bend. So I just gotta order some more uh, brass rod and we'll finish the last one off. So what I did is we did two of the same height of each one. So you know this one and this one are the same height, this one's by itself. Alright everybody. Well thanks for coming along on the adventure and uh, yeah, this was fun. It's a nice day outside, even though it's overcast. And uh, hope you learned something. I, I learned something. I learned that I suck at making things. Nah, they act, these aren't too bad. So these are pretty cool. So, um, all right. Well, we'll see you on the next one. And uh, we'll catch you. Hey, everybody. One last thing. I uh, put, I put the uh, sealant on. Uh guy's just making the rounds blasting his music anyways so here you go here's the last of the uh, here's the the blocks uh, with some uh, satin uh, polyurethane on here these will look pretty good we'll let them dry oh here you can see uh, her uh, logo snowing stars pretty cool all right guys thanks for uh, coming along and uh, it's gonna rain we'll talk to you guys Easy.